If you're anything like me, honestly, in a recital piece that lasts maybe 100 measures, there might be about six that just give you fits, whether it's a scale passage or some weird arpeggios or a leap that you can't just seem to negotiate. There's no substitute for good, honest, hard, consistent work on those, but there are a lot of ways to work smarter, and I want to talk about a couple of those. A couple of ground rules always have a metronome. A metronome is never going to count for you. You're going to have to do that yourself. But a metronome is going to keep you accountable to a good steady beat. Another ground rule is always start slow. You're never going to play beautifully fast if you haven't played beautifully slow first. And the third thing I want to say is always maintain a healthy body connection that runs all the way from your fingertips an awareness of what your forearm is doing, your elbow, that connection to your shoulder, all the way to your spine. If you keep these fingers long, it's going to keep the forearm involved, even in those difficult, fast passages. I want to talk about a couple of specific examples. The first one is from the Beethoven Cello Sonata No. 1. Um, there's a couple of measures in the uh, piano part in the beginning of the Allegro section that I've always found kind of difficult. Um, there's some negotiation around the thumb that causes difficulties, and there's some odd figuration with some chromaticism that can be really difficult to do. Especially to do cleanly. So the way that I've found to practice this type of thing most effectively, it's by changing the rhythms into combinations of short and long. So I'm going to start my metronome at a nice, steady, slow clip. And I'm going to just play this passage in combinations of short and long. And whenever you do uh, one way, you need to do the other way. So now I'm going to do it in combinations of short and long. Now we can do a combination of two short notes and a long note. And of course, the opposite. One long note, two short notes. You could even try it in triplets. Etc. Then you want to play it as written. much cleaner, as you can already see. Then speed the metronome up two clicks and repeat. Another kind of difficulty that can occur occurs with um, passages that include arpeggiation. For this example, I'm choosing a small excerpt from the third movement of Haydn's Sonata No. 40 in G major. As you can see, some of that is scale work, which we've already, which we've already talked about how to do. Um, but there's some arpeggiated passages that can be very effectively practiced by blocking. If you simply block that, it sounds like this. Doesn't sound great, but if you practice just moving your hand from the whole arm, using the whole arm from the shoulder, you get a real sense of the arm movements and the hand switches that are very necessary to play this cleanly. The last thing I want to talk about is uh, the left hand. The right hand's been getting a lot of attention. So let's talk about the left hand, and let's talk about left hand leaps. For this excerpt, I've chosen uh, a small section of the Chopin Grand Valse Brillant 
in E flat. Um, this is a, these kind of leaps are very common in um, waltzes and dances and things like that. Um, and this is particularly difficult because it's a left hand pinky jump from a B flat to a B flat. There's very little room for error when you're going from a black note to a black note. So isolate it. Isolation is your biggest friend in these types of situations. So we just want to practice that leap from the B flat to the B flat. It's almost a throw from the shoulder. It's like I said, it's very difficult to do. Then you can isolate simply the pinky to the thumb movement. Leave everything else out. Notice the slight arching motion in my left hand. Then do pinky, left hand, uh, sorry, then do pinky and thumb and pinky. Finally, add the rest of the chord. You're going to feel much more secure if you isolate it and do that process. These are some ways you can tackle those difficulties and feel much, much more confident when you get to performance.